Two months after his death, the King of Pop got his final farewell with a star-studded burial ceremony at the Forest Lawn Cemetery in Glendale, California. While the first guests showed up in the early evening, Michael Jackson's family members were about an hour late. His three children were the first to arrive, followed by his parents and siblings. Celebrities like Macaulay Culkin, Elizabeth Taylor, Barry Bonds, and the Reverend Al Sharpton bid their goodbyes. Mourners also signed a book of condolences. A large production light, the type used in filmmaking, and a boom camera hung over the seating area placed in front of the Grand Marble Mausoleum. The equipment raised the possibility the footage would be used for the Jackson documentary, This Is It. Outside, as the mourners drove into the cemetery, fans showed their support. Just wanted to be here to lay Michael to rest, and, you know, put some closure on it. He's been a part of my life, you know, my whole entire life, and just wanted to, like, lay that part of my life and his life, you know, to rest. Some with an 80-foot sign. Michael wasn't just the king of pop. He was the king of music. He was the king of philanthropy. He was the king of love. And he deserves to have people out here respecting him and honoring him. These young boys were emulating the pop singers dancing. Glendale, which is home to the Memorial Park, blocked off several main streets and staffed the area to the hilt with police. The Jackson estate helped offset the costs. Jackson will share eternity with the likes of Gene Harlow, W.C. Fields, and Clark Gable, entombed alongside them in a grand marble mausoleum that will be off limits to adoring fans who might otherwise turn the pop star's grave into a shrine. John Moe, the Associated Press, Glendale, California.